from the adventures of Augie March. At first, we often worked in the same places. We went to Coblin sometimes when he needed us for his crew. And down in Woolworth Cellar, we unpacked crockery from barrels so enormous that you could walk into them. We scooped up stale straw and threw it in the furnace. Or we loaded paper into the giant press and bailed it. It was foul down there from the spoiled food and mustard cans, old candy and the straw and paper. <clears throat> For lunch we went upstairs. Simon refused to take sandwiches from home. He said we needed a hot meal when we were working. For 25 cents we got two hot dogs, a mug of root beer and pie the dogs in cotton-quality rolls, dripping with the same mustard that made the air bad below. But it was the figure you got as an employee, on an employee's footing with the girls, in work clothes, and being of that tin, tough, creaking, jazzy bazaar of hardware, glassware, Chocolate, chicken feed, jewelry, dry goods, oil cloth, and song hits. That was the big thing. And even being the atlases of it under the floor, hearing how the floor bore up under the ambling weight of hundreds with the fanning, breathing movie organ next door and the rumble descending from the trolleys on Chicago Avenue, the bloody-rinded Saturday gloom of wind-borne ash and blackened forms of five-story buildings rising up to a blind northern dimness from the Christmas blaze of shops. Simon moved on.